Hi guys, I'm Talia and welcome back to my channel, The Donkey Business. Today I am here to talk about five drama movies of different genres of drama that I watched very recently. I am very excited to talk about these movies to you guys because I think that these movies are very well made. I have enjoyed watching each and every film and I highly recommend them. So I hope that you will add them to your watch list and let me know what you think about these movies in the comments below. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let's talk movies. The first movie that I want to talk about is an extremely sad drama movie called Hope. This film comes from South Korea and is about a young girl who is about 8 years old and gets brutally assaulted by this drunk man while she's on her way to school. The movie actually revolves around the judiciary system of South Korea. It revolves around what the family went through when the girl was brutally assaulted and she spent her time in the hospital, how the media reacted. And the film is so sad that there were times when I could not watch it. I forwarded it. it the acting is brilliant, filmmaking is brilliant, the cinematography of the film is really good and I recommend this movie to you only if you have the heart to watch a very sad film but a brilliant one. It is definitely one of the saddest films I have seen, not like one of the but in top 20 for sure. It is still a highly recommended film, it's called Hope and it comes from South Korea. The second movie that I want to talk about is called Sotsi, which is a crime drama film that comes from South Africa and is about a South African and is about like a young street amateur thug and he's like you know doing like small small crimes and like trying to make a life. One day while he's like doing some thug things, he just like robs a car. Okay, and then he robs his car and he starts driving and then like on the highway he realizes that there's a baby in the car now what is he supposed to do is he like going to go and turn the baby with the car and then go to the cops or like take care of the baby the film is about that and then the kind of relation this young thug makes with this baby and how it kind of changes his life so he has like his own emotional connect which is also kind of connected to his past like when he was a kid so it's a very interesting film an interesting take and it's a good movie i'm not the biggest fan of the film but it's like a nice film so i recommend it it's called sotsi and it is a south african crime drama film the third movie that i want to talk about is called vera drake which is a period drama movie inspired from true events and i'm honestly not a fan of period movies because I find them incredibly slow but this is a really good one um, it's basically about a British woman who is like from a good family not like a rich good family but like a very nice family who are like very truthful and all but this lady has a dark side she basically does like illegal abortions for young women okay who cannot go to the hospital and abort abortions at that time were not legal or not really looked up to so she goes to the house and she gives them like a syringe and stuff and gets them illegally aborted okay and then one day one of the patients she almost dies and then they realize that okay you know this is happening too much where is it coming from and that's when they catch her and the whole movie is based on that the first half of the film is all about abortions and only the th last 30 minutes of the film is about like what happens in court does she go to jail what sentence does she get where i feel that they could have shown more of what she went through post being caught by the cops more uh, however it's not like a bad film at all i really liked it actually i loved it i don't know why i said it's not a bad film at all it's highly recommended it's called vera drake and is very interesting and has a lot to offer. The, it is um, good acting by literally all the characters and I enjoyed watching this movie. The next one is called Good Luck To You Leo Grand which is a comedy drama film with a very unique and fresh take on an old woman who basically has had a sexual life with her husband but it has been very monotonous since many many years and she's never like done anything and explored her sexuality 
so she is like in this mission now where she wants to do things in life and stuff so she hires like this young guy to like fulfill her sexual desires and he's like this hot looking guy and then and then when he comes to meet her she gets like anxiety and doesn't know if it's the right thing and then they have this conversation and then she rehires him again and tries new things so the film is about that it is a very mature and fresh take on a topic like this and i really enjoyed watching this movie i highly recommend it and it's called good luck to you leo grand which is a comedy drama film the last film in this series is called Marvelous and the Black Hole which is a magic drama movie and is about this dysfunctional family and a young daughter she doesn't like to stay at home doesn't really get along with her family so she runs so she tries to stay out of home as much as she can where she encounters a woman who teaches her magic and magic becomes her therapy and that's how she kind of realizes what life is how can she cope up with situations what she should be doing how can she act mature but she also finds her passion how her family reacts to her passion it's insane it's a magical ride and i really enjoyed watching this movie uh, there was a lot that i myself learned as a young okay i'm not young anymore but like a young woman <laughs> through this film i really enjoyed it so these are five drama movies of different genres of drama that i watched very recently and i highly recommend it to you guys and i hope that you will like these movies as much as i did thank you for watching my video and i will see you very soon